Our topic for today is digestive system in humans. Digestion is a process in which complex food material is broken down into simpler substances. The digestion of food in humans takes place in the alimentary canal, which is a long tube extending from the mouth to the anus. The different parts of the alimentary canal are buccal cavity, food pipe or esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine and anus. Two glands namely liver and pancreas also help in digestion. The food is taken in through the mouth. It is chewed and mixed with saliva in the buccal cavity. Saliva is a digestive juice secreted by the salivary glands. The chewed food enters into the food pipe or esophagus and is then slowly pushed into a bag-like structure called stomach. The food is churned in the stomach to further break it down. The stomach also secretes mucus, digestive juices and hydrochloric acid. The hydrochloric acid kills the bacteria in the food and makes the food acidic. The food then goes into a highly coiled tube called small intestine. The small intestine receives secretions from the liver and pancreas. The liver secretes bile juice while the pancreas secretes pancreatic juice. The walls of the small intestine also secrete juices which help in further digestion of food. The inner surface of the small intestine has finger-like projections called villi. The villi have extensive network of blood vessels. The digested food is then passed into the blood vessels. The undigested food is passed into the large intestine. It is wider than the small intestine. Excess of water and salts are absorbed here and undigested waste is passed out of the body through the anus. Esophagus. I am your esophagus. Esophagus. Attach to the back of your trachea. Esophagus. Digestive systems, muscular too. Esophagus. I bring your food down to the stomach and you. I live in front of your spinal column. I'm right beyond the trachea and hop that pumps. I connect the throat to the stomach and you before I reach. My outer muscles are what help me to push through These muscles contract in wave motions to help me push it through This wave motion is called peristalsis Now let's take a look at the muscles that help me do this The inner to the outer walls of your esophagus Are made of four layers of tissue that create peristalsis The longitudinal muscle sits on my outside While the circular muscle sits in the middle Our love mucosa and submucosa, this is where they 
The stomach is an amazing organ. It varies in size from person to person, but can contain up to two litres of food and liquid. The stomach is one of the organs in the digestive system. It is essentially a bag of muscle where food is kept for up to two hours whilst various things happen to it. As discussed in the earlier video, what is digestion? There are two types of digestion that occur in the human body. Both types of digestion, mechanical and chemical, occur in the stomach. The innermost tissue in the stomach is called the mucosa. This layer contains cells that secrete something called gastric juice into the stomach. This isn't the kind of juice that I would have with my breakfast in the morning. It contains mucus digestive enzymes and hydrochloric acid. The enzymes are used to chemically break down the food. The main enzyme released is called pepsin and it breaks down protein in the food into amino acids. A lot of people think that the stomach acid is also used to break down food but in fact it's actually there to protect us from infection. There are lots of nasty bacteria and fungi that can grow in food and you don't want these bacteria to be absorbed into the blood in the small intestine along with the food. This can make you very sick and is called food poisoning, which will involve the nasty food being ejected by either one or both ends of the body. Therefore, the acid, which is pH 1 and very strong, kills a lot of these microorganisms and keep us healthy. The stomach has a layer of mucus lining which stops the cells being damaged. However, if the acid comes up the esophagus, it can feel like a burning sensation. This is called acid reflux. The stomach also mechanically breaks down food due to it being made of muscle. This muscle is folded in order to increase the contact it has with the food as it mixes and churns the food around like a cement mixer. This muscular contraction is called peristalsis. This makes the food smaller, but also increases the surface area for the stomach acid and enzymes to work more effectively. The food is now called chyme and is released into the small intestine for the next stage of digestion. When the food moves on to the next stage of digestion in the intestine, Alkali from the pancreas is added to neutralise the acid and stop damage to cells. So there you have it, the stomach, a bag of muscle filled with acidic juice. Lovely. I am your large intestine, though I'm shorter than your small. I'm called your large intestine due to my expanded walls. I'm made up of ten different parts, all connected into one. We'll start at the tip of your appendix, attached to your cecum. The next part of my tubular 
shape is the ascending colon, which leads to the hepatic flexure. So you're learning in this song. Your transverse colon runs across your entire abdomen, then turns at your splenic flexure onto the descending colon. Your curved as shaped sigmoid colon leads to your rectum, which is where your fecal matter meets your anus in your bum. I am your large intestine, though I'm shorter than your small. I'm called your large intestine due to my expanded walls. Let me tell you how I work and a little bit about me. I'm only five feet in length, but I'm wide, which is why I'm called Large C. My most important job is absorbing water from your chime. If I didn't perform this function, you'd have loose stools all the time. Millions of bacteria inside of me an important one is E. coli its job is very key E. coli breaks down all the chum that your body can digest and produces vitamin K that regulates blood clotting at its best another important job that your large intestine has to play yeah, it excretes all your waste to help your body stay healthy. I am your large intestine, though I'm shorter than your small. I'm called your large intestine due to my expanded walls. Thanks for watching Kids Learning Tube. Please subscribe below. And join us next week to learn more about everything.